Let's see what I can do in about two hours. Hey! Help! You, sir, please! Help! He's going to die! Who are you talking about? What you know about Willis? Godfrey? Who? There's no time! Please come! I was drinking my coffee! Jesus! Who? There's no time! Please come! Fine. Please tell me we're gonna rescue a horse, or a dog, or a cow, something interesting. Cougar maybe. Deer. Fox? Oh. Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! <coughs> Help me! Please! <coughs> Hang on, I need to... Coming, stop choking. This knobbend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling a knobbend? You, you know. because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're You're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. You're welcome. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. When do I get to put on the costume? Look for a mission with the icon to recruit new settlers to improve the homestead. Okay. Yeah, it's only just the beginning. New weapons of power can be acquired by purchasing or crafting. Okay. Um, let's see what is that. Um, are you a thing? Is this a thing? Is this a thing? Fine morning it is. Oh, you're, you're the thing. Um. And the woodchucker. 
There's another thing. Okay, any interesting missions on the way? Let's try and do that one. Left control to fast travel. Control zero, weird as hell. First of all, let's see about this thing. Then go back for the mission. That's a deal. Kill it. Deal equals money. But he's way faster than me in the snow. Just shoot you. The pelt might not be as good. Okay, I didn't mean to fire the third one, and that one I hit. Beer pelt, venison. Deal metal. What? Lime it. Homestead trinkets. What are their contents? Okay. Back here. What's happening to my stream? Hang on a minute. Okay, this one's gonna be a recording only. For you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble.
silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. Hmm. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Yeah, you... you do that. And Foodwalker now craft level 1 goods. Okay. Barrels. Go to the Dean and to check the progression on the homestead. And how to craft new weapons. Want to just go and talk to you about stuff? Godfrey and Terry, Lance. Save the man. Those farmers, level one. Reward belts. Okay. How uh, do I make that? Here? Um. Can I talk to you about stuff? Excuse me. Lance, you can fast travel easily between. Yeah, okay. Lance's wood shop. Let's go see about that. How do I make stuff? How do you make stuff? Talk to me about making stuff. Godfrey and Terry and Catherine. Power Master. Let's do this. Okay. Come on, you were right here. Stop running away. Through the snow, hunting a huge moose. Ah. Elk, same thing. Ugh. Like you ate the whole thing. Elk antlers, one arrow. Male elk. Uh, elk are skittish, good at detecting threats. If it's passing its order, it will stand its ground, give a warning, and then charge. Bait and poison darts remain undetected. Place bait, also poison dart. And there are many parts that are good. Clan mothers. <coughs> 
General Tuzan is a clan mother. The clan mother is a female leader of a clan family. Aside from her social and spiritual role, the clan mother is politically responsible for the selecting a chief who would represent our clan family. She watches for potential candidates from the time these men were boys. Looking for special qualities that merit needed qualities and merit needed for this position of leadership. Grooming them along the way, it has been said that Hod and Sone leaders are not born, they are cultivated. Clan mother is installed for life and is only released on account of merit, sickness, or death. Okay. Where do I climb? This looks like a very repeating texture. No, keep moving. give me anything to walk off of? Not a lot. Can I climb here? Can I climb here? Jeebus, where can I climb? Here? No? Okay, that looks more stable. Maybe here? No. Okay, climb the tree. That's not helping. <coughs> Still not helping. This might be helping. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. But not getting somewhere fast enough. Chirped. Huh. I think there's a way to climb over there. Sure. Can I climb this?
Okay. What does this give me exactly? Fucking no, that's what it gets me. From here, climb, climb, climb. And that's all I get. No, I want to stay near this place. That's a deal. Deal pelt, venison, marrow. Tail, heart, elves. Until you get an arrow in. We're running away already. Did I hear wolves? Come get me. Come get me. I'm waiting for you. Is this climbable? Is this useful? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. I think. Get, get. Okay, I think that's also climbable. Finally. I still don't know what I'm getting for it. <clears throat> A 
Let's try the Helper Master. Best of them, sure. I found them! People say these are myths, but I have them! Captain Kidd had a secret to be sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that happened. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking it low. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Okay. Whatever you say. What's up? No? Okay. Training begins. Alright. Just now begins. <clears throat> Go away. Say go away, boy. Do not speak the king's English. <clears throat> speak it very well, thank you very much. Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. <laughs> I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? That's a wreck. Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy! The ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a <laughs> boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it... she... is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. <laughs> I don't think you can raise yourself. Hang on, I'm gonna check if I can stream again. Okay, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. How about Faulkner is probably the most storied members of the Assassin's Navy, though he was never formally named to a position above first mate. Robert Faulkner was the fourth generation of his family to be a seaman. I'm glad I didn't say that out loud. Or the first in his family to be recruited to work for the Assassins. He started off in the Royal Navy, but finding his career stalled partly due to his inability to purchase commissions, he left to work for the United Company of Merchants. In 1753, Faulkner disappears from the historical record, presumed dead. That's because he joined the Assassins as first mate of the flagship, the Aquila. Faulkner was much sought after as a mariner. Recruiting him was quite a coup for the Brotherhood. He had a reputation for having a disciplined crew and almost uncanny knack for avoiding trouble, not to mention predicting the weather. Whether through years of experience or some other more mysterious ability, because I totally believe in those, 
Buckner would know when a storm or calm patch of sea was coming in and could use it to his advantage. Imagine that, a natural weatherman who could accurately predict the weather. The world would never see like is like again. Faulkner served on board the Aquila until it was nearly destroyed in 1768, always referring when asked to become the captain. He never gave his reasons why, however his love for the ship was quite touching. He had it towed to its location near Boston, despite doubts that it would ever be seaworthy again. Faulkner could have gone back to the sea aboard another ship, but didn't. He stayed close to the ever deteriorating Aquila, and took to drinking, which is where Connor found him. The Abenaki nation originated in what's now northern New England and the southern Canadian Maritimes. Although suggesting the only one nation may be a bit of a misnomer, since Abenaki can refer to numerous groups from the same approximate geographical area and language family, Algonquin, in the sense you asked. Although the various Abenaki would join together during crisis events, like when they were under attack from the other nations, for the most part they had no central authority. That's probably partly what caused the encouragement of British colonists on their land. The British liked to have formal governments they could negotiate treaties with. It's just uh, so much more civilized and sometimes there are nafis. So from the colonists' perspective, no central government meant that the Abenaki had no claim on the land. Of course, they could have found out otherwise, but that would have taken work and been complicated, and perhaps most importantly, the Abenaki might have said no. While the Abenaki tried to remain neutral during the French and Indian War, they were quite literally caught between the warring British and French colonies, so some conflict was inevitable. For the most part, they sided with the French, who were less responsible for driving them out of their homeland. The lesser of two evils, I suppose you could say, though that's a sentence I never thought I'd say about the French. Rich Achilles. No fast travel, eh? The Aquila. Don't let appearances deceive you, you're looking at the former flagship of the Assassin Navy, if perhaps a little past its prime. The Aquila was built in France in 1749 in the city of Brest. Stop it. This design was incredibly innovative for its time, the ship was light, fast, and could carry a surprising amount of artillery for its size. It would be decades before there were schooners that could match the Aquila's speed. Of course, there were some disadvantages to the design, namely that the ship handling was very touchy and required an experienced crew. That meant the Aquila was underutilized until the assassins hired someone who would be able to use the ship to its full potential, Robert Faulkner. In 1754, the Aquila followed the Templar ship into a storm and was lost with all hands aboard, so, so we wanted the Templars to think. In reality, it sustained only minor damage was refitted and became the assassin's secret weapon, staying out of major harbors, using its speed and the element of surprise to harass ships on Templar, base, on Templar, Templar business. The Aquila took on mystical qualities. It was whispered about it in ports along the eastern seaboard as the ghost of the North Seas, a pirate vessel crewed by ghosts that could appear and disappear into a sudden fog. This reputation was due to Faulkner's uncommon skill and the superstitious nature of most sailors, who loved the ghost story and all wanted to marry a mermaid. Eventually, the Templars caught on to what had happened, but it did take them more than a decade. They weren't the sharpest tools, let's say, in a box full of spoons. In 1768, the ship was caught in a trap by three British frigates. The Aquila was able to limp away from the battle, but ran aground in shallow water. The British left it for lost. Robert Faulkner survived the battle and had the ship towed back to a private bay near Boston, where it and Faulkner slowly deteriorated. That is, until Connor found them both. So that's what we saw in the opening sequence. The Aquila was following the, the Providence and got lost. Uh, hi. Raccoon. Raccoon. Uh, skittish animals, not very good at detecting a threat. Yeah, noticed. Use a snare, hide and assassinate, I mean, silent, use, only used for pelts. Well, I'm pretty sure they're good pelts.
Oh, they're worth at least a little bit of money. Can we stop it with the snow already? It's getting annoying. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. Check a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Browse items you own and purchase the ones available from your artisans. Stockpiles allow you to purchase items from homesteaders and display the items you currently own. Press enter to enter stockpile. Godfrey and Terrier Lumberjacks have oak lumber available for purchase. Purchase lumber. Use R&D to select the amount you want to purchase, and left control to select the maximum amount. Okay, confirm purchase. The final name contains oak lumber. Select the trading menu. What about this? Enter the trading menu. Oak logs can be sold to merchants through convoys. Liberation missions and privateer to contacts, you can lower taxes by clearing forts. This must be assigned to a convoy. Sign lumber. Increase or decrease lumber. Each merchant and location has its advantages and disadvantages regarding time, risk, tax, and value. Is wisely. Select the merchant. Bangkok store number five. Items are placed in the selected slot ready to be sent. Risk 35, tax 30%. 12 minutes. Convoy sent. That's a bit annoying. But okay. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes, to ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. False whistle? But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months, months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. The game? What game? Uh, stay here. That's my game. Panorona? Yeah. Why is it called Panorona? No, you play first. Let's bet.
Yes, move. What about that one? <clears throat> Let's take... Yeah, let's take your three. And then your one. Surprising. Hmm. With this one, go here, and then here, oh, I have to choose. Okay, I thought I chose the other ones. <coughs> Nice. <laughs> nice. Holy shit. Holy shit. Okay. I'll have that three. And then those two. Oh, I have seven, he has seven. And then that one, seven to six, and over here, seven to five. Your move. Obviously. And this is obviously my move. So, six to three. If I go here, he can't take me. <clears throat> no, that will allow him the diagonal. This will not be challenged, huh? Hmm. I can move here, I can move here, I can move here or here, I can move here, I can move here, yeah, I know stuff bugging me. Let's bring that one. Box him in. That was stupid of me. Damn it. You can have that one. Shut up. Yeah. What I wanted you to do. Bring it in.
Good, stay there. So if I want to take this one and move here, it will force him to move here, so I want to be here to take him. Actually, I could have done it already. Oh no, he's double moves. I'm so stupid. I think I'm gonna lose this one. He's gonna take mine. He's probably gonna win this. No way I can do anything proper with just one. I go here, I'm dead. I go here, I'm dead. I go here, I'm dead. I'm dead. <sighs> well done. Okay, I'll play in better next time. Where's my horse? No, put that away. Wait. Fast travel, why don't you? 